Social media is very interesting uh, to me. I think there are upsides and downsides to it. Um, I guess I'll start with the up being, um, you really do have the ability to connect with people that you probably would have never been able to see or meet, um, which is which is pretty cool. And you can uh, learn a ton, really, you can. I, I would say that that's a pretty much how our generation spreads information, right? Um, on the negative side, it can be very frustrating because um, it's, it's this comparison. You know, we, we compare without even trying to do it purposely about, uh, you know, so-and-so looks better than me on that, or they have this Gucci or Louis Vuitton bag that I, I wanted that I don't have. and and so-and-so was going on vacation and that looks nice and so-and-so was working out today like and so you just start to get into this realm of um their life is better than my life and i think that's so unhealthy um i also think there's a lot of drama and you can get caught up in that and um that's that's sticky because you know there's not a lot of healthy things when it comes to drama it's it's very toxic oh my gosh i get so much hate from people I think it's so funny how a real basketball players like LeBron, Westbrook, Danny Green, like I could keep going, Kyrie, KD. Uh, they really like us, they support us. Um, we're friends with them. They come to our games, they watch us. And then Joe Schmo at 24 Hour Fitness thinks he has like all the answers to all my WNBA different events. So I sometimes I like them and, and maybe I shouldn't, maybe I'm edging them on, but I think that you have to just learn to laugh some of the stuff off because um, a lot of the times those people, um, there's something else going on and they're just projecting it on you. So I can either continue to give the hate back or I can just take it, smile, and then maybe maybe they can feel a little convicted and like, hey, she might not be so bad after all or something like that. So I try to give myself blocks of time of like, okay, here, uh, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Um, but I'm with my, when I'm with my family, I turn it off. When I'm with my friends, I turn it off. When I'm at the dinner table, I turn it off. I don't look at it the first hour uh, when I wake up and the last hour when I go to bed. So for me, those have been some boundaries and some guidelines that have really helped me uh, be in a very healthy mental state. And uh, I really suggest that people try if they feel like they're kind of sliding into a state they don't want to be into. Um, and for me, what I post, I try to post things that I believe in and I, I feel like that are uplifting. And so I try to really stay kind of like I play. I try to just stay steady, you know? Um, but yeah, it, it is an upward battle because you are pulled in a lot of directions. But I think that for me, I just try to, you know, have fun with it and not take it too seriously. Thank you.